to another Tech Times exclusive. Today we'll be discussing Playo. Playo is a product that as a business owner, you probably need more than one. Um, it, it allows you to, to, to give your employees the, the buying power and also allows you to still maintain control. And the best part is it eliminates most tedious um, financial reporting, um, expense reports, all of that. And to tell us about it today is Playo CEO and co-founder, Yepe Rendon. Yepe, welcome to the show today. Thanks, Chris. Very well put on pitching Playo. All right, awesome. Yeah, I, I, I try. <laughs> so I guess the, the most natural place to start is for you to just tell us about Playo. Yeah, absolutely. So um, as you just introduced, you know, Playo is, is really the product you wish you had. Um, it allows you to, uh, to delegate um, to your employees, allow them to buy whatever they need in their working life, um, while it's really automating all of these tedious steps like collecting the receipt, maybe categorizing, tagging a project, uh, connecting it to the accounting system. So I think really a product that any business uh, need today to make um, employees efficient and happy. Right, yeah, I agree 100%. Um, I feel like coming from a background, you know, working for companies and being a part of that atmosphere, one of the, the worst um, aspects of that is the purchasing and you know if you're, if you're out say for example you need you know your employee is out doing a site visit or something and they need to buy things it's it's horrible and playo i think is almost a godsend to some of these companies these ceos and stuff so could you tell us the the motivation besides the obvious maybe a personal experience that that really pushed you to to, to yeah do this platform yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, I've, um, I've just really hated everything related to uh, expense reporting my whole career, you know, that, you know, few hours a month you had to spend on making your report and waiting for reimbursement was just horrible. But the frustration really grew when I became a C CFO of a company and we really wanted to set everyone up for success and we wanted them to sign up to the different services and subscriptions and be fairly autonomous in the way they, they ran their, their working day. Um, what happened was I ended up sharing my credit card with the entire company because no one wanted to pay out of pocket for services and servers and all of that. So they used my card. Um, but the reality was by the end of the month, I had so many transactions on my card and I just couldn't tell where it was coming from, who was actually responsible for each of those purchases, you know, where to collect and get the receipt and the information. So I cannot say how much time we spend on reconciling this, writing manually, all employees, you know, could you please check your subscription if you already submitted your receipt, so on and so forth. It was just such a horrible uh, experience for us as a finance team, but it was also really horrible for the employees that felt quite, quite restricted that they weren't able to buy stuff. They had to come and borrow my card. And, you know, there was a lot of questions going on. So we tried different expense reporting software, but it kind of didn't solve our problem because there were so many unknown transactions and all of that. So, um, uh, about six years ago, we, um, we saw an opportunity to build software connected with payments um, with, with a product that actually allows you to pay for stuff. Um, so as, as, a, as an employee, you get invited into Playo. The company has already set up some rules and restrictions for what you can do as an employee, some, some limits and so on, so that it's completely safe. But then you can actually, you know, go and get your virtual MasterCard, a plastic card, or you can even pay a bill today um, in the product. Um, and then you could say we try to automate a lot of the steps that happens afterwards, the 
collection of the receipt. And we try to use the data from the payment network to guess which categories, so you don't have to do too many things manually. And me as a CFO or previous CFO, you know, my life is a lot easier because I can have uh, full visibility and full control of my employees while still setting them up for success. I have much better data quality. I can see all the data coming in in real, real time and I can see the receipts and categorizations, et cetera. If something is missing, I know exactly where to go with, with, um, with, with the lack of that, um, uh, that data. Um, so it really, uh, you could say, saves me a lot of time in my finance function uh, as well. And it kind of makes me a hero as well because, you know, my employees are happy. They don't need to do expense reporting anymore. And so we, we tend to say we turn, we turn CFOs into heroes. Oh, I, I absolutely agree. Like, um, I feel like if, if a company, say, for example, I'm working for a company and, you know, I have experience, you know, 10 years, 15 years experience, um, you know, doing things, say, the old fashioned way. And then a company introduces the employees to, to Playo and says, you know, this is how it works. That would actually, for me, that would be almost a retaining factor for me. Like, you know, I could leave this company, but then I have to do, I have to keep up with receipts. I have to to pull money out of my pocket and, and wait two weeks to get reimbursed. So, so I think companies yeah. should, should. That's exactly what we, what we hear out there. You could say, you know, we honestly, you know, we thought we were building a financial product and we were saving companies time and, and, and automating their finance function. But actually what we find out there is that many of our customers come back to us and saying, Hey, you know what, you, you guys have been more than that. You've been, you know, you've been a proof point of what we want to be as a company, you know, what kind of culture we want to have. You've been the proof that we now can trust our employees and set them up for success um, while it's not lo losing control and, and like still, you know, saving a lot of time internally. So, you know, we've had amazing stories from, from our customers and our satisfaction is just really through the roof. Right. Well, that's understandable. I think this is... Um... It's one of those, it's one of those things that it's like, you know, how is this, how is this new to anyone? It's, well, obviously the idea isn't, but you know, the, the fact that, that you actually took the steps and are, and are making it happen. I think it's, um, it's incredible. Hopefully one day this is just um, par for the course across the board. You know, like if you don't have play -O, then you don't have a company for the most part. I feel that's like what we're, that's what we're aiming right now. It's uh, it's it's 20,000 20, companies using using our product, and you know they're coming back and they they they're telling us that you know that there's this concept going on internally now where they say you can play with it. So like you know, our our company name has become a verb out there. So I, that's really awesome. We're trying to build on that. Yeah, that's that's really what you want nowadays, especially in the tech industry. If your company name can become a verb, that's pretty much said. You know, like a you know we've made it <laughs> i mean we are humble we still we still, and, and, and ambitious at the same time so we don't quite think we've made it but oh, yeah, um, yeah. but but we are a good a good path absolutely yeah for sure um yeah so i also feel like um playo was is not limited to companies but i mean i think it would probably be ideal for maybe a family with, you know, a couple of teenagers. So, I mean, is it, that, that's an option, right, with Leo? It's an option. Uh, it's not really, it's not really something we focus at right now. And it's just because there's so much for us to achieve within companies. And, and right now we serve, we serve the smallest companies out there. Uh, we serve customers with a thousand, sometimes 5,000 employees. But we're still only in, in six different countries and we're still only serving 20,000 businesses out of, you know, millions of businesses. So we try to keep our heads down and focused, um, building the best offering for, for the companies out there. But of course, you know, from time to time, you get inspired and you think about, you know, the use cases. But so far, it's, it's just the companies. Right. OK. Yeah. Well, that, that makes sense. I mean, you know, start start somewhere. But yeah. Was, OK. So. For our viewers who may be, you know, CEOs, or I think CFOs, their ears definitely perk up when, when talking about, um, you know, minimizing time loss. Um, could you maybe just explain how the cards work, per se? 
Yeah, I can try to, to explain it. <clears throat> so um, you create a company account within Playo and you start to onboard your organization who, um, who buys stuff from time to time. Everyone should be included. Um, and then for each person, you can set some, uh, some, some rights, uh, some purchasing limits, could be a monthly limit or a per purchase limit, different options here. Um, and then every user gets an invite to join Playo. And once they are invited, they, uh, they can see a, a virtual Playo card, MasterCard. Uh, they can order a plastic card if they want that. And then they can start buying stuff with the card. Recently, we launched a bill payments uh, offering as well. So now you can also pay bills. Um, that also runs extremely smoothly. You can just forward a bill that could be, for instance, a utility bill. You can forward it to Clio. And then we automatically read the bill and we set it up for payment. Uh, you don't even need to go to the, to the bank or anything like that. If you want someone to review and oversee, um, then you can set that up. But otherwise, it gets paid automatically at due date. So Playo is now for all your spending, no matter if it's by card, if it's um, a bill payment, or even if you've done some, let's say, more like edge case situations, maybe you need to register some mileage, uh, maybe you paid something out of pocket that needs to be reimbursed, then you just create a transaction and you can actually just swipe and then you get the money uh, directly into your private card. So we, we actually now cater for all of the different options within business spending. Right. After you buy stuff, we uh, do everything we can to uh, get get the whole receipt experience, which is typically what we all hate. You know, we forget the receipts and uh, we, we we put them in the pocket, but they get lost and all that kind of stuff. So that whole, you know, handling of the receipt is something we've really invested into. Um, uh, for example, we launched something called Playo Fetch, which is um, super cool in my opinion. You know, you just connect your email account and then for all your online purchases, we automatically find the receipts in your inbox as they uh, land in the inbox and attach it to the right transaction. So for all of those, you know, hotel bookings, electronics, whatever you buy online, super easy. We find the receipts ourselves. We even try to categorize it and, um, and we put it into your accounting system ready for, uh, for reconciliation. So um, very, very smooth experience from end to end. I would say lastly, the product also allows the finance team to have really strong overview of the spend. So we have a great analytics product where you can track spending by any sort of metric. It could be by team or category or whatever, you know, in real time. So really good to have a, a strong spending hygiene and be on top of your spending. Right. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes so much sense. I, I can only imagine how um, excited uh the finance i mean you know, like i said i came from you know that 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 industry where you know it was in it's the engineering industry so there's a lot of on-site purchases because you know things change and some of the most i guess the best way it would be heated conversations i ever had like in in company was definitely with finance yep definitely with finance and, you know, they, they have this reputation, right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, they are the ones who are often responsible of the more uncomfortable conversations around finance and budgets and spending and overspending and all of that. So we, um, you know, we have this saying that we turn, we turn the finance team into heroes with our product. And I think they really need to be heroes because often they are not heroes in, in many employees' perspective anyway. So, um, so you know, I think they, they often get a lot of credit for, for selecting a product like you. Yeah, absolutely. So you mentioned Playo Fetch. I've seen also that you guys have a feature called um, Playo Pocket. Mm -hmm. Could you elaborate on that a little bit for, for the viewers? Yeah, Playo Pocket is, um, is really a, a way to keep track of everything that goes on between an employee and the company. And we've just seen that there are many edge case situations um, where um, you need to do something manual, really time consuming. We've seen examples like people um, accidentally charging their company card on 
Uber on a Saturday night or, you know, sometimes forgetting a card and have to pay out of pocket or, you know, sometimes you may have to pay with cash and then you need it complicated to get reimbursed and stuff like that. Or you take money out of an ATM and then there's leftover cash. There's so many things that, that you know, quite small amounts, but, um, but really complex to handle. And Play Your Pocket is, is a way to deal with all of that. So it's essentially a way to keep track of a balance between the employee and the company. So if the employee goes and takes out 100 quid in, in an ATM and they don't spend it, then you know, they would owe the company 100 quid in the Play Your Pocket. If they spend some of it, they would offset it against the pocket. So, you know, the pocket keeps track of this balance of all these small transactions. And then it's super simple to deal with it. In the end, you just swipe to, to settle the balance. And then, you know, money gets deposited to your private card or charged from your private card. Um, so really solves for all of these edge cases in a super smooth way that has not really been seen in the market. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible feature as well, though. Uh, excuse me for my, uh, I get a little stuck because I'm just so amazed by this. Um, and it's, it's just, I think it's, it's, it's ideal for so much for like every company. I wanted to ask you, um, and forgive me if this is a, you know, a stupid question, but, um, at what stage of business would you recommend Playo? Yeah, I mean, we have customers all the way um, to, you know, as, as small as a single employee company. And But the value proposition for the single employee company is mostly to make the, the purchasing for that specific person easier and not having to keep track of, of um, expenses and, and, and receipts and connecting to the accounting system. But you could say the visibility of teams and approval structures and all that is not really relevant, right? That side of Playo becomes more relevant as you get to, I would say, five, 10 employees, where you start to, you, you want to know, you know, who's spending what and how much should they be eligible to spend. And, and if someone leaves the company, you might want to see what kind of subscriptions is running on that card and, and stuff like that. Um, but really, there's a use case for a single person and they all the way up. Now, we don't deal with enterprises, but it's certainly also a problem in enterprises. We deal with companies typically up to like, let's say 5,000 employees. Oh, wow. um, that's what we are optimized for. And a company with 5,000 employees might have, you know, a thousand users on Clio. Mm -hmm. um, and that's manageable and you can create, um, you know, different subsidiaries and, and stuff like that in the product and different teams and team structures as well to, to organize it in a, in a better way. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Um so speaking of, you know, there's your 20,000 companies right now. Um, is Playo compatible with most other accounting software? It is. Uh, we, for most software, we have direct integrations that goes for the, the cloud-based software. In the UK, it's Ciro and QuickBooks and Sage, really popular. Um, for some of the more um, legacy systems, we have a really strong uh, customizable export function that still allows for a lot of uh, time saved, where you decide exactly what you want to export. But the cool part is that you have a lot of uh, context on each export line with even a link to the receipt in the cloud and stuff like that. So you you almost get a cloud experience from exporting our, our data into older systems as well. Okay, I see. And, excuse me, I've seen um, during my research, I see that you are connected with um, JP Morgan and uh, Danske Bank. Um, so what does that necessarily mean for cardholders? Mm -hmm. So the way the product works is that you get a, a Playo wallet, which is almost like a bank account in, in Playo. And you maintain a balance that then uh, fuels your cards and, and the bills you pay. And we have different auto top up uh, solutions with direct debit, where we automatically would take money from your bank account. So you don't need to manage that balance. And what JP Morgan and Danske Bank does is it allows us to pay bills all around the world. Um, so if you forward a 
build Playo, we ensure that it gets paid, no matter if it's in the US or South America or in the Nordics, uh, as fast as possible and at competitive um, uh, exchange rates as well, if, if it's a foreign currency. Okay, I see, I see. So another feature of Playo, um, besides um, Fetch and Pocket, is um, assurance. So what... I mean, I understand what assurance means. Uh, what does that mean for the, the play of bar holders? Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, you would see that uh, traditional expense management software would have different approval flows. And as a manager, you might have tried to get a bunch of expenses you need to approve, you know, either in the form of something on your desk or something in a workflow digitally you need to approve. And I think most managers can agree to the fact that it's often a bit silly and you often don't really have the context really to figure out is this reasonable or not reasonable. And unless something is completely out of, uh, of the ordinary, most managers would just approve it and, and it just adds a little bit to the complexity. What Playo does is it, it kind of like neglects that a little bit and say, you know, we don't think that's the way it should be done. We think, you know, generally employees should be trusted. Um, I mean, you, you trust them by definition by employing them. So why would you double check, you know, a cup of coffee and stuff like that? It just doesn't make sense. Um, so we try to be a bit more clever in terms of, you know, yes, on, on, on one side, you do need to be on top of things. But on the other hand, you probably don't need to control everything. So uh, player assurance is, is that sort of middle ground where um, I think, A, we bring everything to real time, which makes it a lot easier for people to, uh, to, to sort of put things in perspective. And then B, we allow you to set you know, certain rules around what, what do you need to review? Um, you probably don't need to review everything. Maybe you just want to review everything above a certain amount. Um, maybe there are certain vendors where you say, hey, this is a trusted vendor. I don't, need to, I don't need to approve a recurring transaction every month. Maybe it's just you know, the first time you know, a subscription is set up, I want to say this is a trusted vendor, I don't need to review it anymore. So it's a little bit more of a clever way to say, you know, yes, you need to be on top of things, but you probably don't need to bother your managers reviewing every single purchase. Right, okay, so yeah, so it's not just um, you know, eliminating this tedious work of maybe data input, or, you know, those type, you know, keeping up with receipts, but it's also minimizing um, the true arch nemesis of production, which is micromanagement. Yeah, that's what we believe in, right? I think Playo, uh, we try to build Playo on a modern um, leadership logic, you know, that in our view, uh, employees should be set up for success. They should be, their time should be respected. Um, they should be trusted um, and that's really what makes a happy employee uh, that's when you know that you can you can have an impact with what you're doing and we try to build on that in the way we've designed the product at the same time we also know that finance teams need to feel in control and they need to feel on top of things so we try to strike you know that perfect combination and saying yes of course finance teams need to be able to see everything in real time they need to be able to resolve stuff when it's not okay and they need to be able to feel safe with certain limits and restrictions on each person and and that's really what we try and we're pretty pretty religious about this that we would never we would never do stuff in the product that we just don't feel makes sense it's not the right way of leading people um, so we, we, we try to be a bit thought leading here as well. And a bit, uh, you know, some companies, arguably, I think we bring them a bit on a journey as well. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. So, okay. So in, in today's world where everything is, um, tech based and, you know, pretty much, um, you know, flying through the ethernet and, um, everyone is curious and every, the first worry or the first thought on anyone's mind is, what are the security features? So mm -hmm. maybe you could uh, shed some light on those for us. Yeah, I mean, there's 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 a lot of security here. Um, you uh, you decide, you know, which employees you want to onboard. You decide uh, which amounts they should be able to spend. You see stuff in real time. You can you can block users in in real time. Uh, you can set up teams with different people overseeing other people. 
So there's a lot there's a lot you can do to ensure that stuff is not out of control. And then at the same time, there's the whole fraud management, which is which goes for most card issuers that you know we have three D secure so that you know stuff you need to two factor authenticate everything you buy online and all of that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of safety uh, around this, and I think that's that's needed. I mean, we are we are we are operating in a world now where more and more folks need to be trusted with stuff because of the way we work. I mean, no longer can we sort of assume that everyone is in the office every day. You know, people are working from home. And when they work from home, they, they, need, they need these kind of tools to, to get the work done. That, that's for sure. And I think that, that speaks in the favor of Playo that, you know, then more and more people would need access to company money. But of course, it needs to be safe. Right. And, and there's a lot of features uh, around that in the product so that, yes, maybe you run a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of risk, but compared to the risk of employing a person, it's tiny, right? Maybe yeah. the person can, you know, buy something for 100 quid or 200 quid. Um, but, you know, what's, what's the risk of that compared to hiring that person? Right? Okay, right, right, right. So, yeah, um, I think my last question is, like, say I am... Um, you know, CFO or whatever, and I see that because um, you say it's in real time, so you you know you can track if you know if you don't you don't have much else to do, and that's really your thing. I guess you can just sit and just track all day. But um, if you were to see an excessive amount spent at say a coffee shop, could you shut that card down with the touch of a button? Yeah, do it right away. Immediate, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that's one thing. Like you said. Um, and I, I think maybe the best way to go out on this interview is to point out the fact, and I'm sure you're aware of this, but you know, I'm just now realizing it's not something I thought about um, when I was, you know, researching you and, and everything. But um, Playo is not just um, streamlining, maybe, or you know, making everyone's job easier. But from what you've said, it seems like it could be a really it's a it's a trust building tool, much like a, a you know a weekend away for a company, you know. But this is on a daily basis. You see, yeah, I think it is. I think it's um, it it's it's a cultural movement in a way. You know that Absolutely. if you're the kind of company that generally believes in your employees and want to do everything you can to set them up for success and make them productive and feel empowered and trusted, then Playo is for sure the tool you need to use for work-related purchases. Because that's exactly what fosters that. You know, it makes employees feel that they are trusted, that time is valued, and they can do stuff, they can operate. Whilst, you know, there's not a lot of um, uh, out of, of comfort here. There's a lot of safety in the product. So finance teams still, you know, sleep, sleep, sleep in the night and feel that they can, can rest assured. Right, absolutely. So um, what would you say, without giving away too much um, information, is next in the pipeline for Playo? So we are like razor focused on building the best experience around business purchases. Mm-hmm. So we've recently launched Playo Bills, which, which is a way to pay for bills, which was a, you know, a missing link for us to really claim that we are everything business spending. Um, a couple of the next things we're looking at is, is credit. So really a way for you to finance your, your purchases. Um, and then we're moving into new countries as well. And, and we have a lot of stuff on the, on the table. Right. That's, that's awesome. Well, yeah, Faye, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate I really enjoyed the talk. And I think your, your product is, um, I mean, it, I'm sure it's a godsend, especially to the finance department. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chris. I enjoyed it very much. Thanks for hosting me. Absolutely, absolutely. So, all right, uh, uh, for those of you that watch Tech Times Exclusive, um, thank you. If you if you like what you heard about Playo, which I don't know why you wouldn't, um, you can get a free trial. Sign up and get a free trial at uh, Playo.io. And if you if you like the video, if you like the interview, please like and subscribe, and and share if if that's your thing. And uh, we'll see y'all next time.